Another masterpiece from Tenke Fungurumu in the Katanga. Underlying we have malachite crystals, which uh, perhaps it's malachite of the Barat. So malachite which may have replaced Barat at some stage. Uh, coating this is almost a a item of clothing, call it that. It's like uh, a, um, what do you call it, a, a shawl or a throwover of... Um, uh, uh, Chalcedony, which is the druzy or the the botryoidal variety of quartz dusted with tiny quartz crystals. Um, I'm just going to see if we can look into a cross section here. You'll see the, the, the whitish material inside these uh, botryoids or inside this, this Chalcedony cast would most likely be Chrysocola. And then sitting on top of the Chrysocola, we may have some heterogenite, giving uh, almost blackness to these uh, some of the botroids sitting on this specimen. Now there's a dusting of some other crystalline material on here, which could very well be some Vesignerite. I do need to look under magnification. Um, from a display point of view, I mean, need I say, look at that, look at that, going around like this, going across like that. There we have the, the shawl, the, the Charles Sydney shawl sitting over this formation of, of malachite, uh, uh, malachite of the, of the Barat most likely. Crust here, solid malachite. When we look in the cross section, you can actually see the, and of course the 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 uh, under the Charles Sydney is rather uh, unstable. So uh, you'll find that some of these costs actually move on top of the specimen. Little remnants of Krasakola in between, all the way from Tenke from Gurumu in the Katanga.